Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh I hope everyone is doing really good and having a good weekend I just had a really really powerful realization or you can call it a breakthrough or whatever you want to call it and it's regarding Islam wow I, it's still processing because it literally just happened less than an hour ago and I am just so blown away I feel like we have misunderstood Islam in the very wrong way we have been taught Islam in a sort of wrong way it's a matter of perspective maybe how we understood it all of our lives I felt like at least from my perspective we understood Islam as something oblig ob as an obligation everything in Islam was something as an obligation something the mindset has been that it is stuff that we have to do and it's mandatory and you know what the human brain is so stubborn that when it sees something like this it is forced to force and it tends to neglect what I realized today which really blew my mind listen all those uh, uh, things that you see as an obligation the prayer the fasting the good deeds the charity all those things you might be thinking it's an obligation, but it doesn't really add any crazy value to Allah. You're not going to add to Allah's creation. You're not going to... Allah can't survive <laughs> without your prayer. Stop for Allah. It doesn't add any crazy value. Allah created this religion for us, for our benefit. He created the Salah so He can pull us out of our stressful day or out of the craziness that we're going through our whole day and relax and give us our focus back and give us our life back and make us happy. Allah makes us fast so our body, not just for charity or whatnot, but so we can, so the energy in our body can focus on repairing the bad tissues and, and detoxing our body. The istighfar is Allah's way of making us admit to our responsibility and take and take our, our wrong deeds um, and be responsible for our, our wrong deeds and come back to Allah so He can be merciful on us so we can cleanse that dark energy from us. The charity and the volunteer and all of that that Allah makes it you know, obligatory for us is so we can do something out of the kindness of our heart and share our wealth and be nice to people and that cleanses us. I want you to realize what I realized today because I am so grateful that Allah sent this religion to us so we can be cleansed ourselves. He sent it for us. It is for us. All the salah, all the charity is for you, is to cleanse you, is to make you a better person. And it, I'm just still processing it and it is blowing me away. You know, when we go to pray, we tend to pray right away. We're not seeing it as a benefit for us. We're just seeing it as an obligation and we got to get this obligation. It's, it's almost like an essay for class. You just want to finish it and give it to your professor. It is so different i want you to realize with me the power of islam allah gave us this book and the lessons to make our lives a lot easier a lot simpler and a lot beautiful and more passionate and not depressing please realize this lesson with me and pass this on and share it to your brothers and sisters or whoever because it is so powerful jazakumallah khaitan